Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I wasn't getting a signal, Tom. <laughs> I guess I was writing. So welcome. I'm over, I'm... Here. I'm over here waiting. Time to start. <laughs> so here's Tammy. Uh, and so welcome, everyone. We're happy to have you here today. I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook, and we are going to be talking all about plant-based traveling today. So we have two guests with us. We have uh, Wanda Huberman from the National Health Association. And then we also have Lisa McCarl, who is our travel uh, agent extraordinaire. And these two combined together are a dynamic duo that plan amazing healthy, whole food, plant-based trips. So if you've wanted to explore the world in a healthy way and you thought, how on earth can I go and enjoy all these places I want to see and still maintain my healthy lifestyle? Well, we've got the answer for you today. So I would like to welcome Lisa and Wanda. Tom, can you put them both on the screen with me? And, um, and we are going to tell you about wonderful upcoming trips. Uh, we're going to share some photos with you of trips that we have been on, and we will be happy to answer your questions. We just ask if you would preface your questions in the comment section with three question marks and end with three question marks. That just helps those pop out at Tom. He will be helping us moderate. We also have Jesse and Tiffany in the um, chat and um, they can also post links for us and help us as well. So welcome, ladies. I'm super excited. Hi, Hi Tammy. Tammy. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know what? I was looking through photos from our two trips this morning, um, preparing for today. And I, I just, I was just like, oh my gosh, we've had so much fun with you guys. We got to travel in Greece with Lisa and it was just so much fun. You were just wonderful and an amazing travel partner. And then we got to spend a lot of time with Wanda on the Alaska trip um, before and during, and it was just so much fun. You know, I mean, I felt like I already knew you guys, but then I really got to know you. And now we have shared memories, which is really exciting. Well, and that's one of the things I love about what we do because we're growing our community of friends. And uh, so many of us work very, very hard to eat well and stay healthy and meal prep and to just go away and not have to do any of that and just experience fun and adventure and and learning new things very very fun I think one thing that it does is you know because we do a lot of road trips as well and you know it takes a lot of planning to do that and I had wondered before we met you um how would we ever you know be able to pull this off um, when we like leave the United States and, you know, how would that work? Would we be able to get healthy food? And because yeah. of your guys's wonderful planning and working with the chefs on these cruise ships, it's a no brainer for us. I mean, I know how many hours of work are, have gone into it behind the scenes before we go, but um, it was amazing. So how did, how, let's just give them quickly. How did this, how did you two come together and decide to start planning these um, trips. Wanda, I always tell my side of the story. So you tell your side this time. Oh, it's the very same. <laughs> <laughs> so Lisa came to one of our, the National Health Association has annual conferences, usually the last weekend in June. And Lisa and her husband came to one of our conferences. I don't think we'd ever even had a phone call before meeting them at the <laughs> conference. Right? And she just came up to me and said she was never going to do plant-based travel. It's too hard. It's hard enough. I mean, the three of us have all done it on our own. It is a lot of work to plan it for two people. And Lisa, as a travel agent, couldn't imagine planning it for 20, 40, or maybe 100 people. And she said, are you willing to give this a try? Well, I thought, like you ladies, it would be great to travel with people that have the same value system, that appreciate these kind of meals. And then to have adventure, not to have it, you know, the conference that we have is education focused. And I work all year round to bring that kind of education to our members. But the idea that we had so many members, just like us, that want to travel and don't want to do the work, 
or, you know, sometimes you do all the work and it still doesn't work. Things change every day when yes. you're in the hospitality industry. So I said, let's give it a try. And our first one was pre-COVID and COVID sent us in a little bit of a limp for just a bit while everybody, like everybody else, but it's been working fantastic. I couldn't have a better business partner than Lisa and her husband. And our That's members good. are thrilled with the service they provide. I'm thrilled with the service they provide. I think Lisa and I have different um, strengths in how we coordinate this. And working together seems to have brought it to a full circle. And so far, it's been highly successful. Yes, yes. Uh, one of the remarkable things as a travel agent for 20 years, I get feedback. Um, when people travel and I request feedback so that I can learn and help others travel. And with our most recent Alaska trip of all 96%, uh, all 96 people, everyone was positive. Everyone had just incredible feedback about the food, about the experience. I can't tell you how many times I heard this is my best vacation ever. So it, it just is so rewarding and exciting when there's so many positive people. Well, I have to agree, <laughs> you know, it's just, and to be with the, all the um, like-minded people and meeting new people and making friends. And, you know, those are the relationships that will go on for years and years. And hopefully we get to see those people again on future trips, which is super exciting as well. Um, and it may, and it does, it just makes it easy. And not only, you know, like you go to a conference and you get to eat the same um, wonderful food that you would enjoy at home. And that's really cool. But to be able to go on a vacation and have the um, adventure and the discovery of new places and to do new things with people, um, you know, of the adventure side of it also is very exciting. Yes. Yes, we loved kayaking in the Misty Fjords and Endicott Arm and going out. Uh, Wanda went on a helicopter to a glacier. Uh, there are so many things that did that so many people that did interesting things, bike riding, um, lots of hikes. Yeah, well, let's talk about what you have coming up. For people who are interested, because I know after we got back from Alaska and we did, um, you know, a show about it and people were like, oh, my gosh, I wished I had known about this. You know, I want to go. So let's talk uh, about what's coming up. Well, and that's interesting that you say that, Tammy, because when we returned from Alaska and everybody saw the pictures on Facebook and heard other people talking about how fabulous it was. Everybody kept, we had so many people contact us and say, when are you going back to Alaska? And we said, no, we've got a lot of places we want to see. Uh, so in February, we have a full ship Lindblad Expedition, National Geographic, Galapagos Expedition. Everyone on the ship will be plant-based. So that's super exciting. This is our first full ship. Um, once we got to about 90%, uh, Lindblad Expedition says, okay, any meat eaters would be miserable. And we said, oh, maybe, you know, <laughs> so, you know, um, we, you know, we're, we're great having it fully plant-based. And, um, and so we have a few cabins left. We've sold all of our suites and um, there's, a couple of category two, a couple of category three, and a couple of category four, and then that's it. And I do have quite a few inquiries because we had um, an ad in Veg News last month. And uh, right now, currently, um, I'm just getting a couple emails every few days. So we're excited that there's still a lot of interest. Okay, so how many days will that one be? And what's the capacity on that? um that ship it's a 10-day trip um we fly into guayaquil we'll stay there uh in a hotel overnight a lot of people are traveling before um but we will uh stay in a lindblad expedition chosen hotel and then the next morning we fly a large charter jet 
to Galapagos Islands and then we board the ship and um, Lindblad Expeditions is one of the initial explorers in the Galapagos and their specialty and the reason I love them so much is that you get really close and personal encounters with wildlife and you do it when you're in small groups traveling with um, National Geographic expeditionists and local Galapagos naturalists, and then also National Geographic certified photographers. So you can get photography tips and you can hear all about the wildlife and nature you're experiencing. And then in the evenings, we get together in the lounge that has large plasma screen TVs and we get to see uh, photographs. Uh, people submit their photographs. They're allowed to borrow professional lenses uh, for their own cameras. National Geographic has an amazing photography program for people on board. And um, we get to hear all about what we saw and see pictures from everybody's perspective. And then also when we're snorkeling, there'll be uh, National Geographic divers underneath of us filming videos. So it's just remarkable. Um, I, I had someone there last week and she was sending pictures and they were just phenomenal. That sounds very exciting. And they will be making all plant-based food for yes. the entire cruise, breakfast, yes. lunch, and dinner. Yes. And it's and really exciting. It's exciting, Tammy, that Lynn Blad has partnered with farm farmers in the Galapagos Island. And so we will be getting farm to table as much as possible, direct from the farmers, brought to the ship. And so we'll get that local flair and probably tasting foods we've not experienced before, but it, that it's going to be all whole food, plant-based. Yeah, and, and they have, ex they have experience cooking oil free. They've done that before. Yes. So, so the chefs are working really closely with Lisa and I, and we're having regular conversations, understanding label reading and making sure it's salt and sugar free. And, We've had the ability that we can send them photos of what works so well with our Alaska trip. And one of the things, Tammy, I think maybe you'll agree we that um, people really liked was labeling. So if you specifically don't want soy or you specifically want to stay gluten free, everything's labeled and it makes it very easy to even tweak your specific eating while on board. Nice. Yeah. So they did that on the Windstar. So Lindblad's going to do that as well. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That was helpful for me being gluten-free because, you know, it allowed me to know exactly what was in everything. Okay. So when is the deadline? If somebody is interested in going on the um, Galapagos adventure, I imagine it's until the ship is completely full. The trip is in February, uh, February 17th through 26th of 2023. Um, we are going into final payment this month. So I would think that the sooner people sign up, the better. Um, mm -hmm. But it, there's a few more spots. So it's great. And um, we, we'd be happy to have people join us. And Lisa, and so, can, can you mention maybe how easy it is to get there? There's direct flights, I know, from Miami. Are they also from Houston? That's what I understand. Um, and, and we're coming from D.C. into Panama and then flying into Guayaquil. And it's a very easy flight for us. So people are coming across country. It's a little more challenging. We do have some people coming in to Miami and even spending the night in Miami and then flying over right. to Guayaquil. Yep. And is everything double occupancy or if someone's traveling single? Um, they do actually, do um, we do have one single left. And then also Lindblad has a program called the SHARE program, where if you want to only pay double occupancy instead of the um, higher cost of single occupancy, if you agree to have whoever they pair with you, they pair uh, same gender, but um, you can 
potentially at this point have a room to yourself paying double occupancy or or you could have a roommate that you hopefully will be a new friend. Yeah, well, we know a few people that did that on the Alaska cruise <laughs> and it worked out fine. It's really fun because a lot of them are are booking together again for our Greece and our Panama trips. So it's very fun. We have a lot of repeats. That's awesome. It just goes to show you that it can, it can work to do yes. that. I'm probably not the right personality to be able to pull <laughs> that off, but but there are people that it works for. Okay, so um so that is the February and then what do you have coming up after that? Because there's a lot. I see a lot on my sheet here. Yes. Yes. There uh we are going to um the Greek islands again, like I went with you, except this time we're going into Israel. So that's exciting. And we have, I think, four more staterooms left on that one. And um, and then after that, in 2024, in February, also we'll be going to the to Costa Rica and the Panama Canal. Um, we're planning as soon as Windstar releases their group rates for Iceland in uh, late it, summer or early fall of 2024, we're going to uh, do an Iceland group. And then we're hoping Tahiti in 2025. Um, we don't have those dates or prices yet. And Wanda and I have been talking Windstar is making our group smaller. 100 people was challenging for them. They like to give us our own private dining room, which is wonderful. Um, and to do that, we're going to start having our groups cap out at 40 people. And they might let me have a little leeway, maybe go up to 44. Uh, Panama Canal is only a group of a little more than 20 people because that's a smaller ship. Uh, even smaller. Our, our ships are all small. The largest ship we're working with right now is uh, the Windstar motor ship. And that one holds up to 312 passengers. The sailing motor yacht that is going from Costa Rica to, through the Panama Canal um, only holds, oh gosh, I'm thinking 144 passengers. So, and I've been on both and they're both fabulous. They're both very different, but wonderful. Well, I have to say our, our very first cruise was on one of those big mega ships with thousands of people. And we weren't, we had a good time, but we weren't totally impressed. And after going to Greece on um, Windstar on a smaller ship, we were like, this is the way to travel. Yes. Um, it was just smaller, more intimate. Like we got to know the staff, the staff knew us by name. Um, you know, there weren't these big, huge, long lines to line up to do anything, you know, eating was easy. Um, even doing the buffet because, you know, you weren't competing with thousands of other people and it just a totally different experience, more relaxing, um, you know, it was just, it was amazing. So I highly, I highly recommend if you've never um, done a cruise on these smaller ships and Tom, maybe we could show them a picture of um, the ship um, that we were on, on Windstar and um, some of the photos of the food so that people can see what we're talking about. So um, when we went to um, Greece, they um, were kind of still in learning stages about how yeah. to cook for us and so forth. And um, they did a fabulous job. And you want to show us the ship? There you go. Yeah. So here you can see, you know, it, it's not a big mega ship. It's a smaller ship. And the capacity on the Star Breeze and the Star Legend, how I can't remember exactly it's what it 312. is. 312. 312. Okay. Do you have the picture that has um, the star breeze next to the uh, one of the princess ships? Um, I don't. Oh, they're side by side. I don't, oh, you don't I have don't that have one. Probably that's okay. It. My favorite uh, picture of our, um, if I would stop clicking this so much. Um, Can you get it to go? 
I think I need to give it a break. You confused it. Yeah, I double clicked or something. Uh oh. <sighs> well, I I will tell you, Dad. Out. This is our this is our most recent trip here. Um, this was in Alaska. Yeah, I mean just the ice and the mountains, and, and that's our actual ship that we were on, and that was sitting right outside of this guy here. Yeah. Um, An amazing glacier. Yeah, uh, next to this mountain here. <laughs> so, at um, least is it, it true so because bad. because Windstar has these smaller ships. We can get, they can go into little nooks or these fjords. And we were like the only ship there. It was just mm -hmm. magical. Yes, we were the only people there. It right. was just incredible. It was wonderful to yeah. be somewhere where there just were not other people. And, um, and also super respectful of the environment. And, um, and Lindblad does this as well. You go in and you leave no trace that you've been there. And um, I think that that's super important. Okay, can we show some of the food? Sure. Um, I can, I've can. got three or four collages here we can flip okay. through. And some of these are from our trip to Greece and some will be um, from Alaska, but you know how um, cruise food is beautifully presented and um, they did an amazing job making our plant-based dishes look incredible and um this is just a sample of different things that we had that is it on the screen can you guys yeah. see it yeah no it's it's showing yes okay. yes yeah and just so amazing everything was delicious and you know what was really fun is the chefs were so proud of what they were making and um you know they would come out and ask us this, what this we middle, thought this middle one here is not shrimp <laughs> i know but they made the tomatoes they made the tomatoes look like they were little shrimps it was just amazing the creativity that they have and of course i'm a foodie and so i really appreciated all the extra effort that they went to and everything was just absolutely delicious and, and, and food always tastes better when somebody else makes it and you don't have to go grocery shopping, prep it, or do the dishes. No. It doesn't get any better than that. Can you, you know, For, I, Tammy, I don't know about yeah. you guys, but so many places I go, we're plant-based. We eat a volume of food. We eat a lot yes. of food. And how many times have you gone to nicer restaurants and they do prepare the food, but you're hungry when you leave. They plate it and they bring out very small portions. I never was hungry. There was always more food. Was that your experience? Oh, absolutely. Tom, can you show up? Um, oh, and they made, Wanda taught them how to make amazing smoothies for us. And they did a great job with that. Um, they even made these little shots at breakfast time, you know, little beet or, um, you know, green little shots that you could have that were just amazing. Yeah, they were just, they were beautiful and amazing. And they were the the um, gals that were back behind making all of those were so excited about what they were making and, you know, and the enthusiasm that they had for creating food for us was also wonderful because you never felt like it was an imposition. I mean, they were so excited to be making things and get our reaction about it. Um, which was really fun. And, and then I, I have that room tour too. I don't know if you told Lisa we had that available. Yeah, I have a room tour. Can sure. we, do you mind Great. if we show that? Yeah, it's about, it's a do. video about three minutes long um, because I was really amazed at how beautiful and spacious the cabins were. So here we go. Um, I got to set the sound. You got to set it up. Well, yeah, and sure. what I will add to that really quickly is that with the Windstar motor yachts, even the porthole suite, the entry level suite has that same size and layout. So you can really, you know, there's certainly the premium cabins, which are much larger, but you can go in and have a porthole, an ocean view or a balcony room and still have a walk-in closet and a bathroom with a double sink and a large shower. So that's mm. really remarkable and not standard in the industry. That's amazing. Okay, he's working on getting this video to play for us. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, let's I, do it. I just have to get back to that folder. Okay. And 
I had to get my sound settings. Um, We're ready. Here it is. I thought I had it playing. Where did it go? Here it is. I got to push auto follows video, audio. And we should be getting sound. No. Well, it's going into. And we should be getting sound. No. Okay. Well, it's going into. We have a video, but no sound. And we should be getting sound. No. Okay. Well, it's going into. Do you want me to talk over it so I can just tell them? We have a video, but no sound. Yeah, go ahead. Tell okay. Them yeah well, so this, yeah we did you lose the video there you go okay you want me to talk over it so i can just tell them so this okay so this is so this yeah we did you lose the video there you go Okay. Okay, so we're this is the refrigerator. Every room has the little refrigerator. We gotta shut that up. And they do bring filtered water to your room every day. So if you want to bring your own um uh container, you can refill it every day. It's a queen size bed, really comfortable. And um, that spacious seating area, this is a little vanity or desk with nice lights. So I would, you know, sit there and put my makeup on, do my hair in the morning while Tom would take a shower. You get this beautiful walk-in closet that is just amazing. It uh, accommodates a large wardrobe. Um, you have a safe that you can put things in. Um, there's a pegboard at these shelving, which was nice for folded items. Um, nice place to be able to put your shoes. Oh, what happened to our video, Tom? I bumped it. Well, we don't want to start over. No, we were here. Were you at the water already? Yeah, I was in the closet, doing the closet. Here's the closet. Yeah. So plenty of room for everything in the closet. Um, lots of space on the floor in there to put your shoes. So plenty of room for two people. Safe. Yeah, that's safe. I'm going to fast forward since it needed. Okay, so here's the bathroom, a really spacious bathroom, too, and a nice shower, plenty of room in the shower. You get double sinks, which I was really surprised about, which was very nice to have that. Oh. <laughs> so just a really a spacious, wonderful um, room. Not that we hung out in our room a lot because we were doing so many activities that, um, you know, but when we were in our room, it was nice and big enough that, you know, we could invite friends to come in to our room and visit if we wanted, you know, just to have a little bit of privacy and um, get away from everybody. We could do that in there as well. Now, I wanted to show like the salad bar um, pictures and the um, buffet. Do you need to change the. There you go. So just to give you a sample of the wide variety of um, vegetables that we were offered, they we had salad bar available to us um, morning, noon, and night. 
and we could um, choose from all these amazing toppings to put on top of our salads, which was just incredible. So, I mean, I probably ate more variety than I do at home because I wouldn't have, you know, 30 things to choose from <laughs> at home um, for every salad. And so uh, it was just amazing. And um, they just really did such a fantastic job. Thank you, Tom. And then there was there's a, there was a string of individual dishes. Okay, there. sure. Yeah, roasted vegetables um, without oil, lots of flavor. They made soups for us yeah. every day. There was a different kind of soup um, that was wonderful, and then you could pair that with a beautiful salad as well. And yeah, that that one was really delicious. Um, they dish. made a lot of different. Um, we had beans. We had um, different types of grains every day as well. And sweet potatoes. Looks like they were a hit. They were a hit. Uh, lots of fresh fruit. That was just so wonderful not to have to clean fruit and be able to eat as much as we wanted every day. I, again, this is one of the salad bars, lots of different dark leafy greens, beautiful salad dressings, oil-free salad dressings. They made different ones all the time just to keep it um, exciting. Again, another soup that they made. They had um, whole grain breads for people who eat bread and um, it was just wonderful. Again, more fruit. The fruit was such a big hit with everyone and um, just so delicious. Desserts, they made salt, oil, and sugar-free desserts every day as well. Um, so no complaints about the food. Cammie, what did you think about um, the outdoor dining? Wasn't that fabulous yeah, when the weather that was it? Yes, that was wonderful. Totally different experience. You know how, like, if you ever go camping and the food always tastes really great outside, right. and the same is true on the cruise. There's just something about being out on the deck and seeing the beautiful scenery and the fresh air, and it's amazing. And they had blankets. So if it was like a chilly morning or a chilly evening, you know, they would bring you a blanket to put over your lap. I mean, it's like every little detail that makes everything special, they think of doing. Even you didn't talk about room service. You can. If, oh, yeah. If you I, we didn't we didn't use it, but talk about it because I know you did. Right. So if for some reason, like I had to get a little bit of work done during the cruise. So one morning I skipped breakfast and I was in the room and you just call and they have a whole whole food plant based SOS free room service menu. But what I learned was besides that menu, if you're calling to eat during dining time, you can just say, what do you have on the dining menu? And they would bring that to you. And they even it was cold and we would be coming back off of the the kayaking trips or the um, Zodiac trips, and they had hot chocolate for everybody. And I said, what do you think about making warm vegetable broth? And so they, I mean, whatever we asked, they did it five minutes before I was asking is what it seemed like. And so the very next time you come off, you could get a nice little cup of warm vegetable broth. You could have that delivered to your room. They That's just amazing. exceeded my expectations. Yep. And when, you know, when we were on the cruise in Greece, one of our excursions um, included lunch at a um, restaurant while we were off the ship. And they even called the restaurant ahead of time for us and arranged to have an SOS free meal made for us, which I thought that was really amazing too. We weren't expecting that to happen. Um, and then because we've been on more than one cruise, we were invited, um, you know, to a special appetizer night one night, and we got in there and we weren't expecting that there would be anything for us to eat. They had a whole platter of whole food plant-based appetizers and um, the restaurant 
um, manager. As soon as he saw us come in, he went and got a server to bring over the platter to us. I mean, you know, because it's a small ship, they know who everybody is. They knew that we were with the plant-based group and, you know, immediately they wanted to be inclusive and make sure that, you know, we were getting equal treatment. It was just, it was just, it's just an amazing experience. It's hard to explain. Um, so Lisa, Tiffany wants to know uh, which cabin option was that, that I was showing. Uh, were you ocean view or balcony? We had an ocean view. Okay. So it was the ocean view on the motor yacht. Thank you. Oh, Tiffany says that the salad bar at the conference was easy, equally as amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. That's how I got the idea. That's how Thanks. this whole thing was born. I said, well, if you can do this, you can talk to chefs on a ship and get them to create it. Yeah, and that, that's exactly what happens. I talk to the chef and I, you know, you just tell them other people have done it. They're competitive. They want to outdo anybody that I've ever worked with. And I said, well, I've been working with chefs and we can be away for, you know, three, four days and there can be 300 people at our conferences and there's always plenty of food and salad bars. So that was kind of their, their bar and they were going to exceed that bar and, and they sure did. We're just in that. the final menu planning stages for Galapagos and we expect to have a menu from Lindblad Expeditions anytime. Very exciting. So we have a question from Paula. She said, what would be the total amount for tips for a trip, like a typical trip? It's typically $14 a day per person is what they consider the appropriate amount of gratuity. Some companies say 12. I think some do 15 or 16. Um, we actually, I, I was just really amazed at the generosity of our group. Uh, our our plant-based group pitched in for an additional tip for the chefs who helped us with our meals and gave a very, very generous tip to the that crew. So uh, beyond the $14 a day, and even that's optional. If you have a problem with that and you just say, I have a problem with that and they don't charge you. But um, beyond that, it's it's at your discretion. It's your choice. Lisa, can you clarify? Because it confused me when I first went. That $14 a day is built into the overall price, right? So you're not bringing extra or am I wrong? It is. You're, you receive that in your bill unless you do an all-inclusive package. So they have packages that include um, the Wi-Fi and maybe alcoholic beverages, if that's what you want, their packages that include that, and then the prepaid gratuity. So you could package that, but also it's billed at the end of the cruise. And so they don't do it in advance because if you do have a problem with something, they allow you to uh, take that off your bill. And I've got to say- I've never I known anybody to do that. I can't imagine. Besides the chef and the cruise and all the restaurants and room service, you have two different people servicing your room at least two times a day. And they are amazing how they they seem to learn what time I left, what time I came back. So they were like these invisible, I don't know, invisible housekeepers. And every time I came in, my room looked great. Right. Until you and talk. Very to them. Oh, go ahead. Yes, the towels. <laughs> I was going to say they're and they're very creative too. Like every time we would come back, our room attendant would have made some kind of a little towel sculpture for us. And, you know, and there was a fruit bowl on the table in our room too. And he constantly replenished that. So we always had fresh fruit. There were, you know, grapes and apples and oranges and bananas. And, you know, he just kept that Full all the time, which was also really wonderful. And, you know, we just like we, um, we took envelopes, and then um, we wanted to give 
um, the people that had helped us extra tips. And so we would just put the money in the tip and put their name on it. And then, you know, the last um, day we would just find them and give them the envelope. Um, so you can do that as well if you want to go beyond what um, the, the normal $14 a day is. Um, because, you know, like they would like Tom would go up and get coffee in the morning and, you know, they would, they knew exactly what he wanted when he would show up, you know, they'd be ready for him. And, um, you know, so you can, you can add extra tips, um, to the individuals too, if you want to. Yeah. When you mentioned him, Tom going up for coffee, Tammy, it reminded me. So Lisa, I don't remember what the name of that room was. That's like a library on the top deck. The Yacht Club. The Yacht Club. And they have snacks. And of course, they don't want to exclude us. So they had great snacks. And they're labeled in the, in the glass case. And you can get herbal tea if you want. And, you know, fresh spring rolls or chocolate brownies. It was just amazing. Yeah, they had plant-based muffins, they had fruit cups, um, just all kinds of things. I mean, we, you know, we never um, felt left out and we never, like Wanda had said earlier, you know, we never left a meal feeling hungry, you know, because there was, there was always plenty of food. Uh, so Jesse says they have a library on the top deck. <laughs> They have a, and the Yacht Club has a library with books and magazines and games and puzzles and people would go up and, you know, you might work for 30 minutes on the puzzle and you leave and somebody else comes up later. It was just fun wherever we went. Yeah, it was. I mean, there was something to do all the time. Um, and we had the classes on how to use your iPhone camera to take pictures. Oh, Remember, yes. Wanda, we learned a lot from <laughs> that as well. Um, you know, they taught us different tips and tricks so that we could get the best pictures possible. Um, it was it was just amazing. We haven't even touched about the entertainment. I mean, I was well, usually let's do, tired. Let's talk about that. So they have, I was tired. I only went to the entertainment a couple of nights. And one night prior to the entertainment, I don't know how they build it, something like a chocolate bar. And I'm like, well, that's not going to, you know, surely that can't include us. And my curiosity got the best of me. And I went up there and of course they recognized me and they said, oh, look at that. We have a whole chocolate fountain that's been made just based on the way you taught us with dates and cacao and fruit skewers and treats and so as everybody else is enjoying the standard American type desserts, we were enjoying our healthier desserts and the entertainment is Las Vegas style. I thought it was spectacular. The dancers and um, is it John? I forget what his name is, Lisa. Yes. What's the, yes. the gentleman that was yes. the head of the entertainment? He was just fabulous. Yes. Jamie, you could uh, literally. Beautiful opera as we were departing one of the uh ports just really fabulous yeah it was it was amazing amazing and then they you know the the staff has a talent night and so that was fun too to see different servers and room attendants and you know different people from um various um, areas on the ship, some people that are behind the scenes that we otherwise maybe would never see that do laundry and what have you. Um, they had a talent night and they get to showcase their talents or if they're from um, a certain country, then, you know, they might do music and a dance that is um, uh, special from their country. I mean, it was just, you know, it's more of a family intimate type feel that you get you know um so that was really fun as well so plenty Lisa, of things to do Lisa you mentioned laundry if you don't want to pack for 10 days pack for five days that you just put your bag of laundry outside the room there's a price sheet in the room and I had traveled a bit before Alaska and they had a special if you put it out the first day because I'm sure laundry wasn't as busy the first day. So I had things pressed that were wrinkled and I had things washed. The rate was was reasonable. Wow. And the next day I just 
had it all ready for the rest of the cruise. And, and then at the end of the trip, I know they had like one price, everything you can fit in the laundry bag and other people that were traveling afterwards use that. It was like everything you could think of to yes. make your stay as good as it could be. And then the animals even cooperated. We had puffins swimming around the back of the ship during our last <laughs> breakfast there. And we had, uh, some people saw whales from the ship and we had saw seals, of course, on the glaciers. There were, it was just spectacular. There was one day I went up by myself and that was one of the first times I saw Tammy and Tom had been up back getting where they have some um, hot beverages toward the back, but I don't know, I get back in front of the ship. I was on one end of the ship, they were on the other. And I just wanted to experiment with my binoculars. So I'm up there by myself, it's pitch black out. And I've got my binoculars and there's these two whales just playing. And I just wanted to scream, I'm the only one enjoying it. And I, I look to my left and there is this unbelievable sunset. And then I look to my right and there's this double rainbow. And I just was running in circles. That's when I found Tom and Tammy. I'm like, somebody else has to see this. It was spectacular. It was. We and then get the, next week, the next week they got Northern Lights. Yes. So, but they had rain. We didn't have any rain. So oh, the weather was great. Every day I kept thinking, all right, we've been so blessed today with beautiful weather in Alaska, not too cold. So whatever tomorrow brings, I'm not going to complain. And then tomorrow just kept bringing more of the same. We were so blessed. And it was the same. Lisa, you and I went to Baja and the same thing. And like Tammy said, we took um, an excursion where you go out on smaller boats and you can just be at this private beach and do some snorkeling or swimming. And, and I'm like, okay, this will be nice, but there's plenty of food, there's room service. I was expecting nothing on a private beach. They brought out fruit and boxes with great salads and water and we were completely taken care of when I had no expectation for that. Yes. And I think they can do that because they're, a, it's a smaller ship. They have fewer people that they have to cater to. They, they can, you know, put more emphasis on all of those little details as well. And, you know, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, everybody, you know, wherever you go and ask for help. I mean, they're just super accommodating. It, it, I just, you know, it's a completely different type of vacation. I never thought that I would like be the kind of person that would enjoy a cruise because, you know, we love to take road trips and have the freedom to do what we want when we want to do it. But there's so many options on the cruise. So, you know, your downtime when you're um, not in port, when you're out on the water, there's plenty of things to do. We were never bored, you know, and then when you do get to port, there's so many options that you can choose from um and i remember that you know several of the naturalists that were um our guides on the excursion said oh my gosh you guys have like the best luck because this is the best weather at this time of year that we ever see it's like never this nice and so that was you know i think we do have good luck we do have um a little rainbow that follows us around i think and we didn't even mention the ship has a full gym for many of our members wanted to get up in the morning and they wanted to keep with their exercise routine. And they have a lovely gym, they have a full spa. And even if you don't pay for the spa treatment, you can go in and sit on, you know, use the relaxation beds, take advantage of the saunas. There's just everything there. There is. And if people, if you're interested in learning more, if you have questions, if you want to read more about it underneath the video in the video description, now, depending on what device you're using to watch this on, it might have just a down arrow that um, like an um, upside down um, uh arrow or a V there might be a V Chevron or it might have three little dots and say more you click on that so that you can see all the information Tom has put underneath this video so there's 
um, contact information. It tells you, it gives you a live link where you can go to the um, NHA website to read more about it. Um, and then you can always contact Lisa um, if you want to make an inquiry about getting signed up. And then um, perhaps you want to talk, Wanda, about the um, National Health Association magazine and the conference you have coming up. Thanks, Tim. Can I add one more thing about the cruise before yes. we go over to the conference? Because then I need to sign out and go. Yes. But um, I just wanted to say something about the people that joined us. We were so blessed and we had people that just had remarkable stories. Um, and Tammy, you interviewed several of them. And then it, we just had such a diverse range of life experiences among our plant-based group. And it just seemed like everyone meshed beautifully. And um, you could sit at any table and meet people. And one thing that I've seen is that I know for a fact that we have people from our plant-based groups who are traveling together right now who met in our group and said, hey, come see me. They, they're they going across country and staying with one another. And then I've also heard about several um, potluck get-togethers of people who met and found out, hey, you live 20 minutes from me. So it really was a community builder. And that is one of the things that I find more challenging with plant-based eating. I'm, we're usually the only plant-based couple among our friends and when we go out locally. And I always feel like the pickiest person in the world <laughs> and, and it's hard. Uh, so just to be able to go and enjoy it and then to make friends who who have lifestyles similar to our own and be able to entertain each other. So I'm very grateful. And I loved the interviews you did, Tammy, spreading the word about how um, beneficial for health this way of eating is, because it's a wonderful thing to share. Lisa, yeah, yeah. Before, before you go, there's yet one other thing about Windstar that a couple of our members took advantage of that's pretty spectacular. So if you're in a family and you want to travel with your family and some of your family eats standard American food and you want your whole food plant-based, they make that so easy. Whether, you know, they, they would not bring standard American diet up into our private dining, but if the person who eats the way we do wanted to join their spouse or their children in the regular dining room where they were serving traditional food, they could have the food from our dining room brought down to them. And so there is just any wide variety of lifestyle circumstances you're in, Windstar can accommodate that. Yes. And Windstar is working with me with uh, based on the work they've done with Wanda and NHA, um, they are having me work directly with the director of operations, who's really high up, um, to provide this type of meal if some people want to travel individually. They're having me work with the executive team of Windstar to make sure those chefs are trained on the ship. And they certainly won't have our buffets, but they'll do a table family style service. So um, I do have some people contacting me about that, you know, if they can't, if they're not available during our group trips or they want to have additional travel. And then the other thing that they said we might be able to do as our groups fill in the future, um, we might be able to add a back to back because they bring trained chefs on board for us and they bring extra chefs. So if they already have them for one leg of a trip, if we add, if we're, if we get full, we might be able to add the week before or the week after. So that's something they're, they're super accommodating. Um, Lindblad Expeditions has also been wonderful. It's a more unique, exotic um, experience that we're having with them. And, it, and the ship is not, um, not something I would consider a luxury ship, but it's a very comfortable expedition ship. So I do want to make sure that as people were watching this, um, the, the lovely video of the room you did, Tammy, that's not the expedition ship. That was the Windstar motor yacht, right. and nor was it the Windstar sailing yacht, which those cabins are also smaller. Okay, good point. Well, Jesse says- Thank you for having us on. 
Oh, you're welcome. I know you've got to leave, but yes. thank you so much for spending time with us today and Always letting fun. everyone know. And you do a fabulous job. So thank, thank you so you. much for all you do. Thank you very thank much. You, Good to see everybody. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. 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 So Jesse um, said, I wonder if our type of food on board these cruises ever ends up making other people consider this way of eating. Well, that, and that is an interesting question. We actually um, met a man one day and um, he he wasn't part of the National Health Association group. And he said, you know what? He's like, I've been eating your guys's food. He said, I walked into the dining room one day at lunchtime. And he's like, I thought, wow, I've never seen such healthy food on a cruise ship before. And he said, and I really enjoyed it. And then I came back and he said, I didn't realize that it was a special group. He's like, but I'm so happy you guys are on here and I can eat your food. And then we met another lady um, up on deck one day and she was like, so tell me about your group and so forth. And, and she was dabbling in plant-based and, you know, so of course I told her about our YouTube channel and, um, she was like, you know, I'm going to check you out. And, um, she's left a couple comments on some of my videos and said, you know, I don't know if you remember me, but I met you on the cruise and, you know, so she's learning more about, plant-based as well now. So, so I think we do have an influence on some other people. So um, you were going to talk about the conference and the National Health Association magazine. Terrific. So the National Health Association, probably the most of you know, because Tammy and Tom do a great job of telling you about us. It's a Whole Food Plant-Based Organization that is a nonprofit. We don't sell anything other than we are a membership organization. So we sell memberships. There are a whole $35 a year. And for that $35, you get this magazine. This is the most recent one. It'll come out four times a year. And because we don't sell anything, the entire content is advertisement free. You'll get some great recipes. You'll, you'll get stories this this particular recent one is an interview with Dr. Christy Funk. There's an article about being different by Joel Furman, um, toxic care products and child nutrition by Meryl Fury and Power of Gratitude. So it's a diverse range of information that you get. Become a member. If you sign up today or this week and you mentioned that you saw this on Nutmeg Notebook's channel, as long as I have extras, We'll mail you one, so that means you're getting five for the price of four, so feel free to take advantage of that. Uh, the one thing we do every year is we put on an annual conference. This year, the National Health Association was founded in 1948, so I am so excited to be planning our 75th anniversary celebration. Um, come to the conference, Tammy and Tom will be there doing their own demonstration. And in addition to these great speakers you see here, or you'll see when you go on the link that Tom puts in the show notes, we have added Jean Bauer. So we try and give you information that's going to help you with the importance and the education of eating, of course, but it's our life is much more than food. And so we have um, people like John Pierre that are gonna be talking about exercise, we have a yoga instructor. We do wonderful hikes in the local national park that I chartered buses for. Uh, so we have Dr. Kim Williams coming this year. One of the unique things about the NHA that's different from any other whole food plant-based organization that I'm aware of is that since our founding in 1948, we advocate the benefits of medically supervised water fasting when indicated. So we bring the leading doctors who have clinics or residential facilities where you can also learn more about water fasting. You'll get a great education about that. But what I think is so wonderful about our cruise is these doctors hang out for the entire weekend. And so we provide your meals. You'll get to, if, if there's a space open at, at Dr. Esser's table or Dr. Kim Williams or Sarai Stanzik's, have a seat. They'd love to have meal, uh, a meal with you. And you'll see them in the hallways. You'll get to talk to them. If you have questions about anything special that one of the doctors does, it's a chance to have free one-on-ones. Uh, we, we have moved to the Holiday Inn and Conference Center, which is in Cleveland, Ohio. You'll fly into the Cleveland Hopkins Airport. 
They provide a shuttle service right to the hotel. And once you're at the hotel, everything you need is right there. You really don't need a car. Uh, what else can I tell you? If you what want to come in. Coming in early. Right. So a lot of people come in early. I ended up um, starting bonus sessions on Thursday evening. I really should sponsor this as a four day conference because we have so people are coming in Wednesday now so they can be there <laughs> rested for the bonus session. Um, the hotel is fabulous. It's a win win for them and us. So they will have a whole food plant based menu or buffet. I'm not sure what this hotel is going to do yet, but they'll have food. And, you know, our meals start with dinner on Friday evening. So any meals you want before Friday evening, you can rest assured that they're available for purchase. Our meals end with lunch on Sunday. However, our conference doesn't end until around 3 or 4 p.m. So a lot of people will decide to stay Sunday night. It's a great chance for camaraderie and connection. And you can, again, order meals um, Sunday night at your own, Monday for breakfast. So if you want to come in and have those extra days, visit with people, it's going to be just as easy to eat there as it is on our cruise. And we limit, we're limiting it to, well, we booked the whole hotel. So 350 and we are sold out. I am purposely choosing hotels that offer that kind of intimacy. Um, kind of the same thing with the cruises. I don't want mega lines. I want this sense of connection. You will make lifelong friends. People come to the conference every year just mainly to reconnect. We've got people that have been coming for 40 years and they just want that sense of, of connection and that kind of jump start again. So I urge you, our early bird rate is going to be good through the end of the year. And it is $745, which will include all of your sessions, as well as the bonus sessions and the hike and six meals. The hotel has given us a block rate of $139. So when you go online, you'll get that block rate. I have a lot of people just going to the hotel and thinking they can use their points or get it on their own better. And it says it's sold out. It's sold out because I blocked every single room. We always sell out our conferences. Um, I don't want you to have to go to a neighboring hotel. So it is important that when you call or you go online to book, you let them know you're with the NHA conference. There are still rooms available at $139 a night. If you have any issues or questions about that, you can reach me at whuberman at healthscience.org. And I'd be happy to answer those questions. Wonderful. Thank you, Wanda. And um, Tom and I haven't been to an NHA conference yet. So we're super excited that we're going to be there um, next year. And everyone that I've talked to that has been has told me it's the best plant based conference that they have ever attended. So um, all my friends tell me that. So we're super excited to get to come and we're going to come early as well so that we don't miss out on the Thursday night activities and we want to go on the hike and um, we're super excited about it. We have a question about the um, magazine. Um, Anna wants to know how much extra does it cost to have it sent to Australia? So we do international mailing and it's $55 for the extra postage cost. If you don't want to pay the extra, if you're one of those people, most of our members like to feel it. They like the hard copy in their hands. So $55 a year and you can get that. If you don't want to pay the extra and you're comfortable with just a PDF, you can get it for the same $35 and it'll be digital only. Once you become a member, we have digitized over 42 years of back issues. So if you're wanting to research certain health issues, we have a virtual library that we offer for free for our members. We offer um, discounts from, from a couple of products that um, are only available to our members. So currently it's discounts with Mama Says and it's discounts with Vitamix. Vitamix is located in Cleveland. They are wonderful sponsors, the owners of Vitamix. Um, the owner is whole food plant-based. He supports us. He comes to every conference. His executive chefs come and do an amazing appetizer on Thursday. That's part of the bonus session. So they're all they're there all day Thursday from check-in till the end of the evening. 
and you can get all your Vitamix questions answered. You can see some demonstrations. So that's another perk of coming in early. And they are the nicest people. Tom and I um, are affiliates with Vitamix and we work with um, a couple of people from the home office and they're absolutely fabulous. And they're so passionate about Vitamix and they know absolutely everything <laughs> about them. It just amazes me. I ask a question and then, and, you know, they know the answer. Um, whatever, you know, if you have an issue doing something with your blender or what have you, they, they know all of the ins and outs. Tammy, you're going to, I don't think you know this. If you do, let me know. One of the Vitamix um, family members is a naturopathic doctor and a chiropractor, and she interned at True North. She is oh. all on board with whole food plant-based. She's a young mother. Her baby is about a year and a half old. She'll be at the conference. She was there last year. I'm working with her on, on how we can continue making sure Vitamix is providing information for people who eat whole food, plant-based, SOS-free. Um, That's so good. exciting because they, they did tell us that they want to promote more recipes and ideas um, about using their products for the whole food, plant-based lifestyle. So, I mean, that's very exciting. And um, I got the their anniversary cookbook, and it has a lot of plant-based recipes in yes. it. So, yeah, so that it's it is very exciting. And they have a robust website, and you can get yes. whole food, plant-based, and smoothie recipes on their website as well. Yeah, so they, they support us. We support them. They're a wonderful family owned company. They've been around 100 years. So it's so fabulous to work with them. Yeah, I think this is the 100 year anniversary cookbook that I yeah. bought. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, it has, I mean, you know, there's standard American diet food in there too, but there's yeah. plenty of plant-based recipes as well. Um, somebody was asking the date of the conference again, and that is um, Friday, June 23rd through Sunday, June 25th. But as Wanda said, a lot of people come in on either Wednesday or Thursday so that they don't um, miss out on the Vitamix reception um, and events on Thursday night. And the conference doesn't end until late afternoon on Sunday. So you may want to spend the night um, and then fly out on Monday just so that you get as much time um, with the plant-based community as you possibly can. So. And Tammy, I didn't mention that we also offer a children's program. I think it's really important that young parents can come and bring their children. And so we have a great children's program. These kids need to feel as connected as we do, maybe more so. We, I don't know. I thought about that. My kids are all in their 30s. And as they were being raised, they were going to conferences with other children. They're still in touch with some of those kids that they met because the same ones would come back year after year. So they had 10, 15 years that they were just getting together with the same kids. And so they too stay in touch. Uh, Brittany Gerudi will do a wonderful art class with the kids. We have Vitamix may come in and do an ice cream Sunday class for them. There's an amazing, amazing indoor swimming pool at this place. So the kids will get to go swimming, they'll get to go hiking. Um, they're going to have their own great fun. I tell the parents that they'll be taken care of except at mealtime. Parents pick them up to eat. And after a day at the conference, the kids are saying, Mom, I'm eating with my friends. And oh. <laughs> they're old enough to be that independent. And most oh. of the kids that come are mature beyond their years, I find, that are being raised this way. Okay. So what age, what age group? So I'm finding that four or actually five, if your four-year-old's really mature and okay to hang out with some older kids, but five to 12. I opened it up for a larger span one year and parents came with teenagers. They only came for the ice cream party. They oh. they're on their tablets. They are not interested in being in a supervised children's program. So I wouldn't want to pretend. I mean, they're old enough to come to lectures and to hang out on their own if they still want to be there. Um, and when you go on the website, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't actually know the prices offhand, but there is um, special pricing for two to 12 year olds, maybe even 13 to 16 year olds. It's all on there. So we're trying to 
With inflation this year, the hotel really raised their prices of what I have to pay. So I had to raise our prices so we could cover that. We really do try and keep the price as low as we can. So as many people as possible can get this information. That sounds wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to it. So um, thank you so much, Wanda, for um, giving us your time today and sharing all about the NHA um, vacations that people can sign up for. And of course, the conference and the magazine. And Tammy, and Tammy, can mm -hmm. I mention one more thing that they can yeah. watch out for? So stay tuned. We are so excited that Dr. Frank Sabatino is now our Director of Health Education. And we are working with a marketing or a pr production team is really what it is. And we are doing podcasting. We have our first podcast being um, done today. And we're going to get a whole bunch in the can. And then we are going to launch, hopefully in December, the beginning of December. You can go to um, any of your favorite podcast stations or YouTube and look for the Health Science Podcast. And the first interview is going to be Mark and I, and we're going to tell people about the NHA and let them know what our podcast is going to do. We have the second one learned, lined up with Dr. T. Colin Campbell. So we're going to have some great content coming through these health science podcasts, and you're going to start to see more robust e-newsletters. So you can become a member is, of course, what I would ask. Your support is what has allowed us to stay in business for 75 years. But if you just want our e-newsletters, um, you can sign up for our email at no cost and you can get that for free. And of course, <laughs> healthscience.org is our website. I've ungated an awful lot. You can see my whole recipe section. I've made e-cookbooks of the menus and the meals and the recipes that we've served at the last three conferences. All of that's available for free on my website. So check us out. Let me know if you have any questions and watch for more to come. Absolutely. Well, on that note, we are going to um, conclude today. We've been on just a little over an hour. What, Tom? We have a thing for Dylan. Oh, we have some. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say goodbye oh, to okay. Wanda. I thought you were saying goodbye to everybody. <laughs> you know, we're not done. <laughs> no, I'm telling Wanda goodbye. Um, I, I have my micromanager here. Um, <laughs> thank you it so much. <laughs> It does take a team. Absolutely. It absolutely does. As you well know, because you and Mark do a lot of, together as well. So um, thank you so much, Wanda. It was wonderful to spend this hour with you. And um, I'm just super excited about all the things that the NHA has going on and the new podcast. That should be really fun as well. Great. Thanks for having me, Tammy. It's great to be it with you. It was our pleasure. Okay. All right. Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, so as Tom was saying, we have um, a couple more announcements. And, um, you know, we love um, Dylan from Well Your World. And um, he let us know that they have some exciting things coming up. You want to share about that, Tom? Um, I wasn't ready for that, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was getting the screen ready for you to share. Oh, okay. So this is being announced today. So we've been under quarantine on this information until today. I almost accidentally sent it out in the newsletter yesterday, and I caught myself that I wasn't supposed to do that because Dylan right. and Reeves were, were launching this uh, just, just today. So their new book is out, um, the YouTube favorites book. Uh, and then they've got two others there, which are covered up by the, by the top one. But they're bundling those. Uh, you're getting all three of them. Uh, for $75 in hard copy and for $45 in the digital. Yeah. So you can use our regular link, uh, willyourworld.com forward slash nutmeg, and that'll take you to their site. And I'm sure that they've got this featured kind of uh, on their site there somewhere. Uh, so so look for this, look for this graphic, and it'll take you to their much awaited cookbook that they've been working so hard on. Yeah, so for uh, those of you who are not familiar with um, Reeves and Dylan from Well Your World, one of their specialties is that they make simple, quick, and easy yeah. whole food plant-based meals that also happen to be SOS free. They also have a line of SOS free products that you can purchase, but most of their recipes don't 
require that you use their products. But um, should you be in the market for SOS free, which stands for salt oil and sugar free salad dressings, pasta sauce, pizza sauce, a wide variety of seasonings, a hot sauce, an Asian sauce, a um, uh, you got me over here, an Indian sauce. Um, they just have a wonderful array of products, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and um, salt-free seasonings that are amazing that really help you put together some quick and easy meals and also make them super tasty and flavorful. And so um, if you're looking for cookbooks, whether you're new to plant-based or you've been plant-based for a while and you're ready for throwing something new into your menu, we highly recommend their products as well as their cookbooks. And then you guys, they also have cooking shows. They do two cooking shows a month. You can sign up for a subscription to that. They're live cooking shows. They're on um, Fridays, I believe at noon, and it's only $15 for the month. You get two of their cooking classes. And then that also allows you to get a discount on the products that they sell. And um, they are so creative. So they they do holiday meals, they do theme type meals, um, they do all different types of cuisine, and they're super fun to watch too. They're just a wonderful young couple that have totally embraced whole food plant-based and they're passionate about sharing it with everyone and making it as easy as they can. I mean, they have like meals that you can put together in like 10 minutes and they taste delicious. So, um, so check them out. We have a link under the video, we have a link to them and we do, we are affiliates with them and which we were happy to become affiliates with them because we use their products and we love their products. Oh, they have the best nutritional yeast. They have a cheese mix that you can buy. We call it our cheaters cheese mix. It's, you know, if I don't have time to make mine from scratch, I'll use theirs. They have a gravy mix they, and they have a pancake mix. I mean, so many things that they have have all the products that you wish you could walk into a grocery store and find that were SOS free and whole food. Plant so if based. you want to cheat, go to Dylan's product line and, <laughs> and, and, and it's, it's healthy cheating. It's nutritional, high quality cheating food. <laughs> well, we call it our cheaters because it's so much quicker because it's a mix and all you have to do is add water and you can add additional seasonings to it if you want to. And so, um, so yeah. And I see that Wanda just posted that she has introduced Dylan to the chef and hotel managers of Lindblad and Windstar with the hope that they will be using their products for the cruises. So wouldn't that be cool? Um, that is a great idea as well. And Wanda says that her um, children and her grandchildren love Love the pancake mix. So yeah, they're excellent products, you guys. Um, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, you know, place an order. I think um, if you get, I think it's fifty dollars or seventy five, you get free shipping. I need to look that up. But um, but yeah, they're wonderful. We love their pasta sauce because you can't go into the store and find an SOS free pasta sauce, at least not anywhere that I shop. And so um, order theirs. It's really great. Anything else? Okay, next week, we will not be here next week. I wanted to let you know that. Um, and, oh, we've got one more exciting thing to share. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> happening this week, I'm going to get this guy on here. We got a notice via email a couple of days ago that Amazon as a pre- I, it, it kind of referred to being a pre-Black Friday thing. I don't know if that's an official term. They put our beloved Breville Smart Oven Air BOV 900 BSS. I've said that so, many, know, many, so times. many times. Is back on sale at 319. Um, down from down almost. from the usual price of 399. Retail is 499. Mm -hmm. That's not the street price in my in my book. 399 is the street price. Right. And anything less than that is a good deal. And so we've already had a half a dozen or more people grab this just in yeah. the last 12 hours. Um, and they don't really tell us how long it's going to go. I think they they have an inventory and then when it's gone, then they stop the sale. 
Um, I have a link in the show notes. You know, we are affiliates with Amazon and there's a link in the show notes that will take you to our Breville Smart Oven Air Amazon Live Breville uh, full explanation video. You can skip all that because the very first little box underneath it to click on is a picture of the Breville. Uh, we also have and talk about the, the accessories, the cutting board, the extra trays, um, the, the grill mesh mats. The grill mesh mats, use. maybe the oven mitts we use on that video. So it kind of gives you the full gamut of everything. And I go through and tell you how the whole thing works, how the machine She's works. She's a very good instructor. So, <laughs> so the link I put in the show notes is to our Amazon Live special show all about the Breville. There's some other things on there too, but the main thrust, the initial thrust is about talking about the Breville. So this comes along, you know, a couple times a year, and we always make a point of announcing it when it does come up. And and typically a couple dozen people grab it and and we get thank yous for alerting them and 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 usually not complaints about being too commercial. But and ours is right back here behind us. Five we, years old. We use it every single day. And if you go to our Nutmeg Notebook Facebook page, um, you can see I posted about the sale on there um, yesterday or the day before. And lots of people left comments about their opinion. About current owners. Yeah, current owners told um, a lot of people say, I never use my regular oven except for the holidays now. And even on the holidays, I'm still using the Breville. And so, because it, it, it's multifunctional, it has 13 different settings. So yeah, it's a toaster oven, but this particular one holds a nine by 13 baking dish, a full 12 cup, uh, full size muffin or It holds pan. a 13 inch pizza pan, which is more important. <laughs> Yeah, Tom can, you know, make dough and spread it out on the pizza pan. And um, it has actually a pizza setting. It has dough proofing on it. It's a dehydrator. It's a broiler. It's a toaster. And of mm -hmm. course, we love the air fryer function because if you're eating oil free, it's great for being able to make crispy potatoes. Yeah, this is where the link takes you. This is our Amazon Life uh it's actually our most recent video. Uh, well, it's a pretty recent video. Um, it was from September. It's from September, yeah. Um, but anyway, this one is is where the link will take you. And Tammy talking about the details of the oven. You see, you got the cutting board on there and the racks. Right. So, so this is where that link is going to take you to our Amazon channel. And uh, then you can see underneath it is where you can tap on the um, Breville to purchase it. And then we have yeah. the grill mesh mats that we like to use are there. And I think the bamboo cutting yeah. board um, is listed. The, the muffin, muffin pan, pan that we use in the mesh mats are there yeah. right here. We just, you know what? Um, everybody that has purchased one on our recommendation has um, been very happy to have it. So, um, and we, we can't imagine cooking SOS free without it now that we've gotten so used to having it for these past five years. So they do, if you don't have room for this big of one, they do have the next size down, which my mom got because her kitchen is small. And so she got it and she absolutely loves it. Now she can't put a nine by 13 um, baking dish in it, but she loves to have the um, toaster, you know, because it replaces your toaster then as well. So you can get rid of the toaster off of your countertop. And she likes having that air fryer. And, you know, if she just wants to um, bake something small, she can bake that in there. It has a reheat for reheating food. Um, somebody did ask me the other day, does it replace the, um, the microwave in your kitchen? No, it does not replace the microwave in your kitchen. Your microwave has a different functionality than the air fryer. So, um, and if you're concerned about using a microwave, please go to nutritionfacts.org and watch um, Dr. Greger's video. He reports all of the science and he says it's perfectly safe for us to use the microwave to um, cook or reheat our food. So, and he is whole food plant-based and he only reports the science. So if you're concerned about that, go there. Um, Tom, somebody's asking, what's the difference for the Breville Smart of an air fryer? 
at Wanda at um, $279.95. And that is a smaller one. I believe that's the one that my mom got. Can you find that one, Tom? Um, because they're different sizes. So Wanda, the um, size that we have is the BOV 900 BSS. Um, and it's the one that accommodates the nine by 13 pan and the um, lasagna pan. And um, and it has the larger capacity for the air frying as well. Now, because it is a bigger air fryer than the bucket style, things do um, take a little bit longer to air fry, just a couple minutes in it, because the food isn't as close to the heating element as your um, bucket styles. So uh, we've never actually had the bucket style, but that's what people who have had it let me know. Um, so it, it is... Um, also on sale, yes. down from three forty nine. Yes, um, and this but, is the one that my mom has. Yeah, so it has a few less functions. It's it's nearly identical in function. Mm -hmm. I don't but think it, I don't think it has the dehydrator function. Can you see it there on your screen? Because um, it's backwards on mine. Yeah. So um, I don't think it has the dehydrate function. Um, but if you have a standalone or don't have any need for um dehydrator. yeah, dehydrators missing yeah and so you know it'll it'll accommodate a smaller pan but the nine by 13 um won't fit no. in it it's 18.9 by 16.5 by 10.9 on the interior dimension yeah so it's only 10.9 inches so, deep and also on the nine by 13 pan it, it's going to depend on how wide the handles are at the end of it but tom if you could grab my my two that i use so i have a um like a ceramic uh lasagna pan and it holds um the the um, Breville will accommodate it. Tom's going to grab those for me so that I can um, show them to you. Yeah, these are both big casserole dishes. And so this is my nine by 13 lasagna pan. So you can see, but, and you can see the handles here, um, but it's still, you want to put it in there and show them. It will go in the Breville. So Tom's just got to pull those. Um, and we bought an extra air frying rack. There it is. So see, there it is. And then this is um, a standard nine by 13 casserole dish. This is Corningware. It's the French white one. And you see it doesn't have really wide handles on it. And um, it fits in there as well. So, um, and then a full size 12 cup muffin or cupcake pan will also go in there. And you can also use it as a slow cooker. You put the rack on the bottom and like a, a five quart Dutch oven will fit in there. You put the lid on it and use the slow cooker function and you can slow cook. If anybody does that anymore, I, we use our instant pot so much, um, so anyway, um, they're wonderful. Breville is a, a great product, um, good company. They have excellent customer service and it has, it comes with a two-year warranty and we are um, five years on ours and going strong. Um, Tracy Reese says, are those pans on your Amazon page? We have something similar to them because um, those are actually no longer available. Um, so we do have some that are similar to them. So um, Mona says, why do my potatoes take longer to bake? 60 plus minutes, yellow and medium size. Are you talking about in the Breville? Um, because when I cook my potatoes in it, they take the same amount of time as in my other oven. Um, you can try the convection bake if you want them to um, cook a little bit faster. Um, that might be a difference. Uh, what brand is the red lasagna pan? It was um, a Martha Stewart brand that I got at Macy's years ago. Um, there we go. I've got so, they are on our, in, um, they're in, they're, here's the red one and a white one. 
Yeah, so this red one's very similar. It's very similar. Yeah, and then here's the, the OXO cookie sheets. Yes. And so 12 club. And this is on the, our idealist. It's called bowls, food prep, serving bowls, dishes, you know, and so forth. So when you go to our amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash nutmeg notebook, it takes you to the, what they call idealist. So yeah. this is the bowls so the, and food prep area. The, yeah. And that the, um, like half size jelly roll pan. Um, that's the one that fits in here. I have two of them uh, because like if I'm baking cookies, I like to, you know, have one tray in there baking and then the other tray, the other cookie sheet, then I can um, prep the next batch to go in. Um, we did buy an extra air fryer rack, but we, um, we've, discovered that we really prefer to air fry one rack of food at a time um, because it does take longer when you do two racks and you have to, you know, switch them so that the one underneath will get crispy. And so we still like having two air fryer racks though, because let's say I want to make potatoes and Tom wants to make chips. So he can go ahead and put his get his chips ready, put them in while those are cooking. I can get the potatoes ready on um, the second rack. And that way I'm not having to, to transfer and deal with putting food on a very, very hot rack. So we still use um, two racks. Um, let's see, what else are people? Uh, Paul Ramsey says the red dish looks like Le Creuset. It does, but it's not. It's um, um, Martha Stewart brand. And I don't know if they still have it or not, but I got it at Macy's because I don't know if she still has a line of dishes and cookware and so deep. forth there. Yeah. And it is, it's extra um, deep um, to accommodate for lasagna. And it does a great job with baking the lasagna. So, and, you know, I'll do my brownies in there, my um, blondies in there. I bake my quinoa banana oat muffins in it. It preheats in just like five minutes, which is, you know, fantastic. Um, I have double ovens, built-in double, double ovens, and they take 15 minutes to preheat. And so this little um, oven is just so much faster and um, it preheats in five minutes. And in the summertime, when it's triple digit hot weather here in California, it doesn't heat up my whole kitchen. So I do, I love it. And it's a convection oven, or you can use it as a standard oven, it, a broiler, so many different things, you guys. Um, Tracy Reese wants to know, will the red pan on our Amazon page fit in the Breville with its handles? Can you take a look at, Tom's looking at the dimensions it's of it. 13 by nine is what it says. It says that it's nine by 13. So it certainly should. Um, because even the nine by 13, when we put it in there, we have a little bit of room um, on the ends of it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was saying that... Um, uh, we are going to take next week off. We will reschedule our guests that we had for next week. We're going to take next week off because we're um, in the middle of working on a project and we really need to um, finish it. And so we need that extra time to do that. Okay. Oh, Reeves is on. Hello, Reeves. We were just talking about your beautiful new cookbooks and um, the sale that you have going. And so I, I, we're super excited. I announced it. So I hope it's going today. That was <laughs> that was the plan, right? <laughs> well, we didn't we didn't get anything that said otherwise. Uh, all right. OK, I think that's I think that's all we have for today, honey. Okay, you guys, so snag that Brevel if you don't have one. Uh, Reeves and Dylan have one, and they use it a lot, too. And she says she's late to the party. You are, honey. You are a little late to the party. How's how's our little guy today? I hope he's doing well. Uh, I love seeing pictures of him. It's so great. Um, so anyway, is that all we got? Yeah, I think we're caught <laughs> up. We'll see everybody in, in two weeks. Now. Okay, yeah. So we will see you guys um, actually, before that, we will see them on the 22nd. Okay, yes, please. On November 22nd. Actually, we have two guests that day. 
do you have that? We are going to be having um, super cubes. They are coming on with us that morning. Um, they have, they're going to have a special announcement. So uh, we'll send out a newsletter with the times on that. So they'll be on in the morning and then at noon. That's the founders of the company. That's Jake the founders, Michelle. Jake and Michelle. I think it's just Michelle though. Okay. Um, she didn't say Jake was going to be with her, but maybe he will. Um, we love super cubes. We've got other videos on super cubes. If you haven't heard about them, they're um, a wonderful storage solution for your freezer for batch cooking. And um, so they're going to, she's going to be on to talk to us about what's going on with super cubes. And, and then at noon, we have Corey from Holland Bull Mill will be on. And we've got some exciting things going on with Holland Bull Mill as well. And of course, that is the week of Thanksgiving. So we yeah, won't... these are kind of yeah, you know, are their holiday promotion events yeah. that they're doing uh, otherwise with us and otherwise. And then that will be followed up. Also, we will be on our Amazon channel on Friday. On Black Friday. And probably we may also do a YouTube. I think last year we did a YouTube and an Amazon to did. reach the whole audience mm -hmm. because not everybody has access to that. Well, everybody should have access to Amazon Live. Yes. So anyway, uh, yeah, that will be so a we very won't busy be doing, week. We won't be doing a show on Thanksgiving, no. of course, um, but um, but we'll see you the Tuesday before that. Oh, and the Friday and, after. Yeah, and um, we've got we've been posting some new recipes. Somebody asked me for a gravy recipe, and um, we uh, were invited to a. Uh, uh, friends giving last night and I was asked to bring gravy. So I did make a gravy. I'll be sharing that recipe with you all as well before Thanksgiving. Things have been cooking in the nutmeg. No, oh my gosh. Lately. We have been so crazy busy. Mm -hmm. Haven't we? Yeah. Okay. okay. But it's all good stuff and it's all fun. So um, Tiffany, Jesse, thank you for being here. You get next week off um, and then we'll catch up with you. Hopefully um, one or both of you can join us on um, Tuesday, uh, November 22nd. I'll send you the times for that. And um, yeah. We'll go from there. Then we'll go from there. So I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and, and stay, stay healthy, healthy one meal, meal at, at a time. time. Bye bye. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a beautiful rest of the week.